Hi guys, so here I'm Rory here, co-founder of Sublime Trading, here with your daily update for the UK and US indices for Friday the 1st of May. Okay guys, hope you're well. If you're new to these daily updates, then I recommend starting with the recording that's pinned to the top of our Facebook page to get a clear idea of what I go through in these daily updates. Okay, so yesterday was the last day of April, so let's go ahead and see how each of the indices has ended the month and what we could potentially see moving forward. So this is our three screen setup as always. We have the monthly in the top left, weekly in the top right, and our daily chart down here across the bottom. If we start with the monthly time frame, we can see that price did find support at the low of February 2016, and we've had a bullish uh, close to April. Now, if I get the measurement tool, we can see that price from the low of April till the high of April moved around 14% but then closed around 9.5% from the low. So still a fairly bullish month in April. So far in May we can see that price is looking bearish. Okay, so it'll be interesting to see now whether that 6,000 round number, which we, which we can see directly above price, is acting currently acting as resistance, if that's going to hold strong and push price back down or whether this is just a temporary move to the downside before a continuation to the upside. Remember, we're very early in May. It's only the 1st of May. We have a whole month ahead of us. So we really want to see how price action unfolds in the days and weeks ahead. If we move across to the weekly time frame, price is below the 200 moving average and the 50 simple moving average. We can see this uh, pullback that price is in. And if you look at this week's price action, it was looking fairly bullish. The bears have come in and pushed price back down. So we have a long week which could potentially mean momentum to the downside. Now, remember, we don't want to get caught up in individual candlesticks. It's really about price dictating, but we can see how that 6,000 round number is acting as resistance as we speak. So we could see further weakness back down to the low of March, or this could just be a temporary volatile week before a continuation back to the upside. So really a waiting game to see how price unfolds. If we look at the daily time frame, we can see that price is below the 200 moving average. Wednesday's candlestick closed above the 50 simple moving average. Thursday, we saw the bears come in, push price back down below the 6,000 round number and the 50 simple moving average. And so far, we've seen further weakness today. The 20 simple moving average still holding strong as support. So this could still uh, be an end to this current pullback and then a move back to the upside. Any further weakness and we have multiple support levels ahead. So at the moment, really want to be standing aside until price really dictates a clear direction. So let's move into the US indices. Let's see how they ended the month, starting with the Dow Jones. We can see that the Dow Jones is bullish. It's closed above the low of 2019. So this is a strong sign of a potential continuation to the upside. In terms of percentages, we've seen a move of around 17 and 18% to the upside. If we move across to the weekly time frame, we can see this pullback has taken price above the 200 moving average. The trend filter, excuse me, the uh, candlestick is green for this week. So potentially we could see further strength back up to the 50 simple moving average. If we come down to the daily time frame, we can see prices below the 200 moving average, but above the 50 and the 20 simple moving averages. So what we could be seeing is uh, momentum towards that 200 moving average there aren't any major resistance levels ahead the key the next key area of resistance is the 200 moving average which is clustered with the 50 simple moving average so space for momentum to continue to the upside so again let's see how this week closes and then potentially how the following days and weeks unfold we'll see some uh, we'll see a similar setup on the s p 500 Looking at the monthly time frame, price found supports at the low of 2019 at the start of April, and we've seen a good bullish move to the upside. It's now just short of that 3,000 round number, which is acting as immediate resistance. We've seen a move off around 19-20% uh, throughout through to the upside through April. April. So it'd be interesting to see again to see how. Uh, may unfold, particularly with that 3,000 round number ahead acting as resistance. On the weekly, price is above the 200 moving average, but just below the 50 simple moving average, which is clustered with the 3,000 round number. 
and that area is also clustered with the 200 simple moving average so we've got the 200 moving average on the daily the 3000 round number and the 50 simple moving average all acting as resistance price above the 50 and the 20 simple moving averages on the daily we can see this momentum continuing to the upside if this area is cleared through may then we're likely to see further strength back to the all-time high moving on to the nasdaq now a strong month for the nasdaq we can see bullish month that took price above the high of 2019 and is actually closed above the high of 2019 so this is a very strong sign of a potential continuation back to the all-time high in terms of percentages we have seen a move of around 21 and a half 22 percent so a strong bullish month for uh, April on the Nasdaq on the weekly prices above the 200 and the 50 simple moving averages so we can see that April took price through the 50 simple moving average and that's just continued to the upside and it's also just about closed above that nine thousand well, excuse me trading above that nine thousand round number so we want to see price close above this by the end of play today which will then be also a strong sign of a continuation back to the all-time high if we come down to the daily we can see that this bullish momentum has taken price above the 20 moving average above the 50 and above the 200 simple moving averages so all three simple moving averages are acting as support we've seen this momentum continue to the upside look at the 20 angling up we wanted to see the 50 also start angling up that will also confirm that we are seeing a continuation of this bullish momentum once this all-time high is cleared then we are in very very interesting territory where we can very much consider ourselves in a bull market and the dow jones and the s p 500 should also follow suit let's move down to the s p 500 mini which gives us an indication of pre-market action Looking at the monthly, not much, uh, not much difference in terms of that bullishness compared to the indices we've just looked at. So a bullish month in April, May, we've had a bit of a gap down and it is looking bearish on the weekly prices above the 200 moving average, but below the 50 simple moving average and the 3000 round number, which is acting as immediate resistance. We can see the bears come in, push price down. And if you look at the daily time frame, prices above the 200 moving average, above the 50 moving average, but just below the 200 simple moving average and that 3000 round number. And that's why we're seeing a, a pullback in the market as we speak. So Friday, a bit of a gap down and uh, a little bit of weakness means very little on the grand scheme of things overall we are seeing this bullish momentum remember price doesn't move in a straight line we expect a move pull back move pull back move so currently what we're seeing is a pullback price is likely to find support and then a move back to the upside once this is cleared then we're likely to see strength to the upside if price fails to break through this then price may remain in consolidation or it could force price back down towards the low of march very close to bullish territory but until that's actually confirmed we really want to be standing aside and applying patience okay that's me for today guys and for this week uh, please like comment and share this recording let's get this out to the masses let's get people let's get people understanding how to use the indices correctly to build solid long-term investment portfolios and i will be back on monday have a lovely weekend ahead